How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me a big favor of all, hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on my channel. Also if you guys would head over to Twitch, follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week, whether it be for Call of Duty, Battlefield, Halo, Destiny 2, Star Wars Gaming in general. Resident Evil or anything else you guys suggest for me to uh, stream over there. Also, if you guys have any movies you guys want me to watch and review here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll get to watching and reviewing those for you guys as soon as possible. Um, it is Memorial Day at the time of me recording this video, so I apologize if there's any noise in the background. I'm taking a quick break. Um, one of my family is resting, so my mom aren't, so I apologize for the background noise. I'm taking a break from, uh, you know, eating junk food and hot dogs and hamburgers and uh, I want to talk about A Quiet Place Part 2 so I want to also let you guys know I will not be talking about any spoilers so if you guys have not seen this movie yet no spoilers at all I'm not going to go into any spoiler talk or whatnot there really isn't all that much spoiler wise to talk about um I ended up starting my channel um after the first movie came out so I'm just gonna tell you guys right now quite place part one <laughs> I would give a 9.5 out of 10 to and I was really excited to see this movie for the sequel I was really excited the trailers got me hyped I was super happy to see a continuation of the story and it was, this was a movie that I've been dying to see, and I've been waiting to see this movie for a long time. This movie was supposed to come out last year in 2020. The pandemic happened with COVID, and everything's been delayed and pushed back. And I'm happy that it actually got delayed. That way a lot more people could have the ability, the chance, to see this movie in the theater. And let me tell you for a fact, this is still a movie that you need to go and see at the theater. This movie is going to have a different um, tone, a different atmosphere if you're just watching it at home, whether that be on uh, Blu-ray or digital. Seeing it in the theater with those awesome speakers that they have, it just gives it a different value. It gives the movie going experience your top dollar. You're, you're not going to be disappointed. My two biggest concerns were... The trailers making the film seem both like a prequel and a sequel. And I also was concerned that this movie would lose lose of the horror and the silent sound elements of part one. Thankfully, part one keeps it where... Thankfully, the prequel part is only like 10 minutes showing the day one of the alien invasion and the arrival of the aliens and the film thankfully does keep the horror and the sound elements of the first film if you love part one you will love part two for sure the acting from everybody including the children actors is fantastic i'm happy that the plot picks up right where part one ended also i'm happy that like if you end up doing like a part one and a part two like marathon it'll be an easy watch and watching part one and part two back to back is really easy and for a lot of people this is one of the best horror sequels ever made however this is not a amazing sequel to me there's a lot of people that want to give this movie nines and tens and think it's a masterpiece to me this is not a 9 or a 10. This is not a perfect masterpiece. This film has a fetch quest. And it, it got boring real fast. Also, my two biggest problems that I had with this film was how the movie ended. And that the film wasn't long enough. There is this big cliffhanger, like I said, no spoilers. There is a big cliffhanger at the ending. And the movie just abruptly ends. It just, it ends strangely. I didn't like it. Obviously, they're going to do a part three. And I feel like there's 30 minutes of this movie that was cut 
at the end, the movie just feels short. And also there are some scenes that drag on forever and those could have been cut. Like, there's just certain things that needed to be added in and certain things that should have been deleted and it would have made the movie better. Personally, I prefer part one. Not because I've seen it a hundred times over me seeing part two, like two or three. Just the flow, the pacing. I like part one more. The prequel stuff in this movie was good. But it adds nothing new lore-wise. Like, if you literally took the first ten minutes of this movie out with the prequel stuff, with the alien invasion, and it was just straight-up sequel stuff, the movie would have been fine. Also, this movie lacks mystery elements, and it's instead more about alien action and constant tension, constant survival, constant tension. This movie is constant tension. There's no room for you to breathe and what it does do the tension and the breathing thing it's like okay I've seen these things already in the first movie this movie also focuses 80% on the children characters over the adults like it should have been 50-50 and they spent a lot of time on these children characters and the new characters that are introduced in this movie they they get killed off too quickly like literally there's a character called Man on Island and he just gets killed before he becomes a really interesting character. And it's just like, I don't understand what's the point of introducing characters, especially played by some really great actress or actors and actresses that just get killed off. I don't understand it. Now, am I looking forward to part three? Kind of, but at this point I'm sick of the whole hiding and being quiet and the whole tension and all that stuff. Part 1 and Part 2, they feel very similar, and they almost feel like one movie, not two separate things. Part 3 kind of needs to be where they use basically sonic weapons to wipe out the aliens and retake Earth. So, overall, A Quiet Place Part 2, I was really excited for it. I had some really high expectations, and I was kind of disappointed. It's not a terrible movie, it is definitely above average. I encourage you guys to go see it. It's really a great film. With that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys have a good one. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream.